Trigger King Summer Series 2023 Event 4. We move to Bracket Racing number two for the Retro class. This is our throwback class. It's also one of our closest classes, limited to 10 miles per hour. So a lot of driving skill in keeping speed and getting out of corners in this class keeps it tight. Taking a look at the results from qualifying Bigfoot 4, Master of Disaster, and our top qualifier, Bigfoot 7, Bob C. Chandler. As you can see, the top sevens all in the 12s. We do have a little bit of spread so far through qualifying, but it's amazing how things change as we get into racing action with side-by-side -side competition. Starting it off, okay. it's a tough draw right, for our ready. number one qualifier, the what? surprise, number 16, Barefoot Racer, the points leader at the bottom of the seating and in big trouble right now as Bob Chandler and Bigfoot Seven puts the points leader on the trailer. Our second pair in round number one will be the 8-9 matchup. Yep. Rotten Ole Apple and Chris Hackinson in Bigfoot One and problems on the starting line for Hackinson. What happened? He okay, forgot to turn Bigfoot one on when he carried it to the starting line, and that cost him right there. You see a lot of drivers drive to the line and touch the base of the ramp just like uh, full-scale monster trucks, and uh, he didn't do that, and that hurt him. But we're in the middle of our next pair. Grave Digger all over Toxic Avenger and digging that grave. Moving on in the bracket will be Grave Digger number two, Josh Rhodes. A battle of orange trucks, employee versus boss. Originator Chris Blank against the employee orange outlaw, Doug Welker. Orange Outlaw, the employee burying the boss with that regulator-based chassis, Orange Outlaw. Moving on, okay. it's another new Orange truck, ready? Barefoot Chris Hackinson and Master of Disaster Chris Parrish. Master of Disaster, the number two qualifier, out ahead of Barefoot at the moment, carrying the momentum to the finish line. That's the team truck to Parrish's Barefoot with the MDRC Mean Duck Racing Team. Driver's ready. Horace, Jeremy Mark, and another new truck. Gravedigger Ice driven by Isaac Ankrum, but owned by Chris Hackinson. That truck, a Sutton chassis, uh, custom built. Oh, and he lost it down the final section of the track, giving the win to Torres. Bigfoot 4, Bob C. Chandler, the right. Sicken Me chassis Driver's against ready? Josh Rhodes. Bigfoot 4, the Racer Stripe truck, the J Concepts Regulator chassis. Oh, and Rhodes hooks a tire and is up and over. Oh, but major drama on the other side of the track. Bigfoot 4 has broken a tie bar in the front of the truck and he can't steer. He's got a little bit of rear steering, but the I front mean, wheel's going everywhere. He means, takes so. significant penalties by skipping portions of the track, but they're just time penalties, and he manages to take the win with that. Sloppy race. Crazy moment right there. All right, driver's ready. But we move to our final yep. round of round number one. Buffalo Trimmer, number six against Monster Orange 4. Chris Blank. And the J Concepts regulator, Buffalo Trimmer, takes the victory over the long wheelbase Monster Orange 4. Trimmer, right? <laughs> Round number two of action. Fast qualifier, Bigfoot 7 against number eight, Rotten Ole Apple. Drivers ready? <laughs> Watch the lights. Chandler with a tight turn through the first corner has Rotten Ole Apple on his hip. 
and carries that momentum all the way to the finish line. Bigfoot 7 continues to truck through the field, making up big points on our points leader who is on the trailer, Barefoot Racer. Drivers ready? Yep. Watch the light. The four and five matchup, Grave Digger and Orange Outlaw and Outlaw in big trouble. The win is going to go easily to Josh Rhodes and the Grave Digger too. On the starting line now, Driver's Master ready. of Disaster and Taurus. This will be the number two and the number 10. Both J Concepts Regulator Standard Wheelbase and Master of Disaster smooth through that first corner has Taurus in trouble. A late charge from Taurus out of shape and the win still goes to Master of Disaster. Right back up on the line, Jeremy Mark out of Wisconsin with uh, Buffalo Tremor facing off against Bob Chandler and Bigfoot 4 after some mechanical issues in the last round. Bigfoot 4 back and ready to go, but all out of shape and in big trouble up and over to finish it off, moving Buffalo Tremor into the semifinals. It's the final four. It's semifinal time. The final two pairs before we move to the finals. All right. Fast Driver's qualifier, ready. Bigfoot 7, Bob Lots C. Chandler, and Gravedigger, the number four qualifier, and Gravedigger up and over, out of shape. Bigfoot 7's going to slowly cruise and safely to the finish line and into the finals. Our final sure. pair in the semifinals, they met in the last round with different trucks. Master of Disaster and Buffalo Trimmer. Trimmer fast and wide and oh, carrying the momentum. Master in trouble. They're tight coming to the final jump. But Buffalo Trimmer cruises to the victory and the finals. This is it, the final showdown. The number one qualifier, Bob C. Chandler in Bigfoot 7 against Buffalo Trimmer, Jeremy Mark. Driver's ready. Bigfoot 7, a J Concepts regulator with an MDRC two inch wheelbase stretch. Buffalo Trimmer, a stock regulator. Bigfoot 7 in the lead. Oh, but seven right. out of shape That's through the Trimmer. kink on the final portion of the track gives Buffalo Tremor the victory. A dramatic finish to the bracket in retro racing bracket two. We'll have to see how the points shake out for the day, but one thing is for sure, a lot of trucks closed the points gap on the overall season point leader barefoot racer that went out first round in both brackets today both bigfoot seven and buffalo trimmer right there in the points chaser there they made up a lot of ground today with great results overall bigfoot seven bob chandler takes the victory and closes the point it's gap to two points under barefoot racer Buffalo Trimmer closing the gap. Master of Disaster with a good day, making ground as well. Two events remain on the Trigger King Summer 2023 calendar for the Retro Class, so it's going to be knocked down and drag out the entire way. Join us next time. Thanks for joining us.